Hi, baby. Yes, but we are. Hey, all of my laughing hyenas. Hey, all of my baddie mob. My maddie mob. Hey, all of my beehive. Hey, all of my divas. Hey, all of my okras. And hey, all of my who am I missing? Who am I missing? The barbs. I got the barbs. The beehive. The maddie mob. The laughing hyenas. But we are your radio family. And I am missing the divas and the okras. Yes, baby. That's how we get down right here at Club Chit Chat with your favorite DJ, your favorite host, the one and only Miss Sophia. Hey, 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 hey. Now, I said that we were going to talk about uh, a certain situation uh, today, and we are going to talk about that situation. However, my uh, special guest is in the studio. Hey, Micah. Hey, Joe. How you doing? It's good to see you. It's good to see you, too. <laughs> Y'all heard he say, hey, Joe. This is Auntie Sophia. <laughs> 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 You're looking good. We go way back. Thank you. Yes. Look at my nephew. My nephew. Like, ah! <laughs> Always healthy, looking good, working out, staying in the gym. Let me tell you something. You stay in the gym, you still got your high school shape. Can I tell y'all my high school shape sent me a text the other day? <laughs> <laughs> Say, girl, where are you? <laughs> girl, my high school shade sent me a text. Say, girl, Stop where it. are you? <laughs> Sophia, you look good. Oh, you can call me whatever. You good. <laughs> I know, honey. You just, you good. My mic, every time I turn this mic on, my mic does a weird thing, honey. I heard it yesterday. It's like I'm echoing. It's like you got to get somebody in here to work on that because I don't want to be sounding like this. I want to sound like everybody else like this. You see the difference? Well, what you need to do is just rock the mics. Rock and them. so when they're not talking, when your guests aren't talking, turn theirs down and when you're ready for them to talk. It's you too just, much work. There's too I, much I know, work. Just get a technician in here and get it right, Sturdivant. You hear what I'm saying? Sturdivant. Everybody, I've been calling George Sturdivant lately. He's like, who is Sturdivant? <laughs> Sturdivant is one of the characters in Ma Rainey's Black Bottom, which comes out tomorrow. Tomorrow the 18th? It comes out on Netflix tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow. yeah, yeah. Ma yeah. Rainey's Black Bottom mm -hmm. with Viola Davis and I think Chadwick Boseman and a whole lot of other people in there. I love it. I love it. I love it. We did that play when I was at the um, Seventh Theater in uh, Houston, Texas. So y'all make sure y'all check it out. I love it. I love it. I love it. But uh, right now, Mike is just hanging out with his auntie today. That's right. And uh, what we're talking about is the Jamal Bryant situation. Jamal, mm. you know, they threw him Ooh. under the bus on the, uh, in uh, Housewife of Potomac. I got a lot I can say about him. Okay. Mm. <laughs> well, I... Uh, I don't watch the show because it's just like I don't have a, I don't have anything against the people that watch the show. When I was younger, I watched stuff like that too. But now I'm old, and it's just like stuff like that really don't impress me. Mm. So it's just like I'm more interested in what a Michelle Obama's doing. I'm more interested Thank in you. what a Nancy Pelosi is doing. I'm more interested in what a Oprah Winfrey is doing. So all the women that are on there doing stuff that even junior high school girls don't do anymore that doesn't interest me, and that's not motivate me to do nothing and promoting you know our culture in a positive the way in my right. opinion so I let everybody you know do what they want to do but Jamal Bryant the young lady she had receipts and she came on the show and she was telling you know uh, Giselle his ex-wife mm -hmm. you know you talking about you know my husband called my husband big boy and then your husband run around here in the church in Atlanta he's the whole preacher of Atlanta and I was like oh my god honey he brought so, it here from Baltimore yes and so then that part she, she, she threw him under the bus she said what she had to say and everything and then Jamal Bryant you know I pulled this clip up, but I really don't want to play it. I'm Please play it. If let it me play, see. If it play, let me see. Let's see this if clip. It play. It ain't playing. We need technical assistance. Right. I hear it. I was getting ready to break. Can y'all hear it? That yeah, your sorry, baby man. is from your trainer. Then I hear it. Upset when you because he thought Giselle leaked it. Oh, here, yeah, and louder. I want to tell you, Monique and Chris, it is not Giselle. Who leaked that? I hear but, now. Uh, Monique, your best friend Gigi. Uh, we we had nothing to do with it. Um, you came um, hostile and angry, and it was misdirected rage. Misdirected rage um, because um, uh, you you live in a house with a man who has anger management, uh, who doesn't mind uh, expressing volatile behavior. And everything that I'm saying tonight is um, not conjecture. Uh, this is not murder. Uh, this is uh, self-defense. Uh, and so 
on Sunday for the first time in five years, I'm inviting my audience to watch the reunion, the Housewives of Potomac, where you will see Monique's husband try to attack my wife, my ex-wife, and Robin. And uh, security had to be called, and he had to be subdued. Uh, and I'm very concerned. Um, Monique, um, you all have uh, my phone number, as you expressed on the show, uh, but I had you all's address. Ooh. And uh, because of grace, uh, I didn't uh, respond to that. Um, Chris, um, you've got to, um, you got to take care of CTE. Yeah. Some of your former uh, teammates contacted me, they're concerned. I said, Jamal, please don't respond um, because CT is a progressive degenerative disease mm. from a history of uh, trauma to the brain. Mm. Uh, and so just last week, um, you had an outbreak again of verbally assaulting a black woman in Safeway. We have the footage of that, but uh, I'm not going to air that, but I'm asking you to please get help. Uh, I've tracked down your pastor, and so all of what I'm saying is in love, so that your pastor can uh, help you uh, get the help uh, that is needed and that is necessary. Uh, none of this um, really ne necessitated happening. I've not bothered any of you. I've not said anything disparaging against any of you. I've not attacked any of you, um, but I thought it was necessary for a couple of reasons. Um, I thought it was necessary because of the failures of my past, it made the accusations of the present believable. Hmm. He sure mm. got that preacher voice. Don't need to, he had it on, didn't he? Mm -hmm. Sure did. Now, I don't know if you all watched the track clip. Okay. Was, uh, was, hold on. Get my he said he not finished. I uh yeah he not finished. That's just a portion of the clip. It's like eighteen set eighteen minutes. I watched the entire Ooh. thing last night, and the thing the problem that I had with it, one the problem I had with it, first of all he shouldn't have responded, and two you're getting on here you're saying that you had they had you have your phone number and you have their address right. and you're getting on here and you're airing out things about him. You're saying that he has issues and you are telling everybody about his issues and then this is the reason that you got on here because you didn't want them on there talking about you and your stuff that mm -hmm. had nothing to do with their right. show. He tapped on it a little bit. Yeah, but then the end of the video, at the end of the video, what he closed out by saying, he says that I have, he said, he said, I have to go. He said, I have to go. And the reason I have to go is because we're getting ready to feed, you know, over so many people, a thousand people who are doing such and such and such. Mm -hmm. And we're, I have to go because, you know, we're in the middle of an election where we need to try to get these two senators in these Democratic seats here in Georgia. I mm -hmm. have to go because me and my church, we're getting ready to help some people who don't have, you know, uh, money mm. because of the pandemic and all that. I have to go because we're doing it. And then it's just like, okay, so. After 18 minutes. Yeah, but then the thing about it is, then he said, he said, uh, he said, I live in Atlanta, but I'm from Baltimore. Mm -hmm. as, he said in the, as he said in there earlier when he said that you know you have my y'all have my phone number and I have y'all address. So now it's just like you want to fight. So uh, the reason I say the reason I say because I'm, I'm I don't know about you all, but I'm assuming that you all do because I do. I'm at a point in my life now where people talk about me all the time. People say things about me all the time, and because of social media, people put those things on social media and you know their platforms and mm -hmm. all that. I don't respond. Right. I don't respond. And the reason I said that I hated he responded is because you. And then in this 18 minute thing, he talks about how these reality shows are not reality. Huh. So then you come on and you try to fight a reality show which you say is not reality with reality. So why would you? That's just like I'm trying to fight a lie with the truth. If somebody's out here and they lying, 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 then you telling the truth, 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 and then when y'all get together, you are not going to convince them to start telling the truth. A lie, <laughs> lie, 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 lie is what they're going to do. They're going to continue to do that. So if you look at that as but, not a reality show, reality show not been reality, and then you start giving some life to that, you you defeating the purpose. Well, first of all, if if most of what they were saying was not true, he wouldn't, wouldn't have responded. responded right. The head dog, the head will, dog holler. will holler. Right. Let's be clear on that. Second of all, um, 
you know, you saying that I have your address because you, i.e., you have my bit, some of my business out there. I can put your business out there, mm-hmm. which is. Is that is that what a pastor well, should be doing? Well, he said it ever so politely, though. Yeah, he did. He did. But at the end of it all, let's be clear. Everybody is, you know, roasting Giselle because they're saying that she and Jamal are not really together. Mm-hmm. They are not really a couple. It is for the cameras. And, um, and it doesn't matter. And that's my whole thing. It, 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 so what? And it's just like we talk you. about all the time. It's just Thank like you. we said, when Hillary Clinton went through that stuff with Bill Clinton, it's just like, yeah, it was out of order, but that's their business. Hello. But uh, when, no, no, no. The reason, the, the reason it Smith, matters, the reason it matters is because you legitimize the n- non-real relationship by appearing on camera, making it appear that you are together. So mm. when somebody brings it up, and says you're fake and this relationship is fake that also speaks to your character because if you are so real if you are so holy if you be in the past and you're trying to tell the truth then you would never have agreed to be on that camera to further the uh the the uh the falsehood of a relationship that you know ain't real to begin with the only real thing is the media frenzy he's creating to mm-hmm. give himself a boost. some relevance exactly right. and, and, and That's he, talked real. About, he talked about that in the video too he said that he said first of all i want to say he said first of all i want to say that a lot of people was thinking that this is in real time this is not in real time we did that over a year ago Ooh. he said then the whole thing about with my with my daughters he said the thing about that he said they made it look like i was here in the united states and i didn't want to go and meet my daughters and blah 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 blah, blah, blah. i love my daughters and blah, blah 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 i was in south africa he said then my flight was there on my way back my flight got delayed somewhere six hours and blah blah, blah. but you don't know that because the bro- because the network didn't give you that information which they had so just like a whole lot of stuff but it, every time i hear somebody go through something with a reality show and and then they come back and they have to do what Jamal Bryan has done is make a video trying For the to producer. Yeah. yeah. And it's just like I'm a Rosa already told y'all that from the very beginning when she did the apprentice. They edit the show. And I have no control of the editing. So when you have no control of the editing, they can make it look like they want it to look in their favor if oh that's what God. they want to do. They're not there to try to put your truth out. They're trying to put out an episode yeah. that would sell Come on. and people would want to say, oh my God, did you see the clip of such and such? I got to watch this next week. Cause such, such, such. Just like everybody is talking about now. They talk about the girl came with a binder full of Baby. receipts. And she said she had some receipts on everybody. On, so now including everybody herself. is talking about uh, yeah, yes. everybody's talking about. Now I want to see. I want to see what else is in the binder. That's what she was supposed to do. What is wrong with these pastors? The, the <laughs> pastors, we have a new definition. Just like everything else has evolved, it's getting pastors, worse and worse. Pastors have evolved as well. They, they have definitely evolved. And church is different, but we need to take Thank a break. God. We need to take a break right here. But I have so much that I just want to. I really want to go through that whole entire video that he did and just talk about how you shouldn't have did that. You shouldn't have did that. You oh, and, did oh! Did, that. did you, you get to the part that. where he said, "Oh, well, I can't have a mistress if I'm if, if I'm, I'm single, single. right?" Ooh. But, but then, but you then, can have several apparently. <laughs> but uh, but also also he said, it, "I'm just." It was so gay what he done. It was so gay. <laughs> it was so gay. Us. Because a real man, a real man, in my opinion. That was a, 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 a real man, like my, my, when I say real man, I'm talking about my daddy. My daddy would not have saw, watched an episode where some a woman had a binder. And she's talking about these are her receipts and da da da. My daddy would not have done a video, come out here with a binder talking about how can you have receipts? Well, since you have the receipts, I have the cash register. That's how far gone his mind is. Mm. So it's like she really got to you. Yeah. And then it made me believe that majority, although they edited the stuff and made it look like they wanted it to look, what she said was true. Of course. Because what she, if she said what she said was not true, then you would not have done a rebuttal video. And then you talked about G- Giselle told you not to. And you said that because it had take it had got life and legs and it was starting to run all of it, you felt like you had to say something to, to, to defend Giselle. No, you were defending yourself. You were defending Giselle because Giselle hasn't said nothing. Mm-hmm. Giselle hasn't said anything. And now you're talking about, and I need you to, I, I'm, I'm telling my parishioners, you got permission to watch the show. They're going to watch it anyway. <laughs> They're going to watch it anyway because they passed this involved in it. And you have given it life. So it's just like, we're going to talk about it. We're going to take a break. We're going to come back. Yeah, we're going to talk about it. Honey, 
I guess I, I got I'm like Jasmine Jasmine Matter. This is Miss Sophia and I got something to say. <laughs> <laughs> I'm your girl Miss Sophia holding it down right here. We are your radio. We are your radio. We are the home of the urban sound of pride. Let's ride. Pat Boone here for the folks at Swiss America. Rock solid foundations are vital in life, in business, and in finance because in the end, only what we've built on a firm foundation will withstand the storms of life. Today, the economic storms are raging and the foundations of everything are being tested. The world economy has never looked shakier. And gold, the world's oldest and most trusted form of money, is also grabbing headlines. Now is the time to put your future on a rock-solid foundation. Swiss America will help you create an indestructible asset today. Discover the timeless truth about gold and silver by calling Swiss America or visiting online at SwissAmerica.com. He went and did a video last night about 20 minute long. It's 18 minute, 18 minute video, I believe. And I watched the entire thing. And I hate that he did the video. And we have in the studio with us Micah, my nephew. Pull your mic over there. Pull hey, your mic around. It's me. And uh, also, we have the CEO of We Are Your Radio, George Daigle, is in here. And they have some things that they want to say. Well, we're going to take a break, but I'm going to let y'all just go on and come and make a couple of comments that what y'all want to say about the situation right now. Well, I don't even watch reality shows because I think they're beneath our culture. But I do know about Jamal Bryan through an experience I had with him through my father. We were invited to his church because my dad is one of the four founders of Inclusive Theology. And he needed my dad to debate with his congregation on his purpose in the church. Jamal Bryan called my dad up there to debate this subject and said that we would not be roasted. And when my dad got in front of that congregation, he let his congregation roast my dad to pieces. When you say roast, be, be be specific. He attacked him. He attacked his beliefs. He attacked his 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 his, his theology and everything about him was an attack. He did not even stand in the gap to defend my father after flying us all the way to Baltimore into his church that he got put out of because of his sexual indiscretions. Mm. Mm. No, he said that he moved because he had outgrew that church and he came here. He had out sexed it is what he had done. Oh, oh, what? And I, ooh. yes. Yes, and I would have been waiting for opportunity to get to a microphone to say what he did to my father. You be careful how you treat people because you never know. Yeah, I, well, I definitely want to hear exactly what happened because I know that you know your your father has been one of the the f people in the forefront of progressive church, you know, and, yes, and yes. inclusion and in, inclusionary theology. Yes. So to have some invite someone under the guise of coming to discuss that, and then yeah, maybe he was curious him, himself. Ooh. For someone so homophobic, it raises a question. Someone so promiscuous. My dad was bisexual. I don't see why he couldn't be himself. Mm. 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 So you're saying that the baby that they're saying that he allegedly had with a teenage girl in his church, that you're saying that? No. There's, allegedly, he had sex with an underage girl, and it was so embarrassing that Baltimore had to get him out with the city. He hushed her, he hushed her, of course, with money, and that's the story on it. And now he's down here in a church known for child molesters. A history of a new birth. They can't get away from child molesters. I don't know what's wrong with these pastors and these people following these men that hurt children. You tell them, oh. you you talking you talking heavy, sir. You talking heavy, sir. Yeah, I said it. Mm. And and it's not it wouldn't be far from the truth. I mean, we know the history of Eddie Long, and we know how he was uh, apparent outwardly homophobic and spoke against gays and. Then no, which says as happened. gay as he wanted to be. Yeah, exactly. But isn't that isn't that always the case, honey? The ones that holler the loudest are the ones that are wearing the same shoes that Tr we're wearing. Ninety five percent of the time, ninety five percent. There's yep. a five percent that actually is straight, but the ninety five are bi. Right. Yep. Buy or buying. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Well, as y'all can see, I think I had the right two guests here today. I'm your girl, Miss Sophia, holding down right here. We are your radio. We're your radio with the home of the Urban Sound of Pride. We're going to take a break and we're going to get ourselves together. And I'm going to come back. And if you all want to call and give you all his opinions on how you feel about the situation, then go on and call us. But the number is 678 839 WERU. Come on, baby. Let's rock. Jamal, Jamal, you are free to call. Call, are you free to come Ooh, up here? Call, please call in, Mr. Bryant. I'd love to. Mm. <laughs> what you say, you what? I would love to talk to you. Oh, okay. This is Micah okay. Meredith, pastor's son of Pastor Dennis May Meredith of the Tabernacle Baptist Church. Would love to have a conversation with you. Call on up here, Jamal Bryant. I, I'm just one of the bad girls. <laughs>
then you should at least be honest with your congregation up front and say, listen, I have an opportunity that has been presented to me where I may be leaving this church and I may be going there. But you waited until you secured another job before you went back and told the people who have been supporting and following you all these years to tell them that you were leaving. And I found I found that that was kind of like, you know, sneaky hmm. and then not right. Yeah. Um, yeah. First of all, it, it shows that you had an, an ulterior motive. The motive was not about really um, being a pastor, because if you if you're if you're a father and you know you're getting ready to leave home, you're going to leave your kids for a while. You're going to say, hey, daddy's leaving. But this is what's going to happen and so forth and so on. But you wait till at the end when it's time for you to go and like, oh, see y'all deuces. Holla at y'all. It no. was kind of the same way when we came to Atlanta from California. Um, we my dad had came out here for a church. I, I'm not sure that. Calvary was aware because when my dad announced to Calvary that we were leaving, they were completely shocked. Mm. Mm. They were in tears. Mm. But this whole situation about him doing this video, him doing this video, and, you know, it's just like my thing is I don't think he should have responded to the video mm. because throughout the video, even at the very beginning of the video and stuff, it's just like you've already said that you do not believe in these reality shows. Mm -hmm. And then you're on here because I'm thinking you're coming on here and you're explaining to us this is your opportunity to take what she said on national TV and you were going to go down the list and say that is a lie, that is a lie, that is a lie, that is a lie. That is a lie. But you didn't do that. You got on there and you were trying to put their business out. Talking about her husband and mm -hmm. his situation. He, in other words, you have mental issues that you need to be dealing with. Doesn't sound very much like a pastor, does it? No, it does no, not. It does and, not. And then it's just like the whole video, the entire video you talked about, you know, well, first of all, this was, this was recorded a year ago. Mm -hmm. It's like okay, mm -hmm. so then say, and then this happened, and then this happened, and then the network know that, and they didn't, know, they didn't announce that, they didn't tell you that, and then I want y'all to watch because mm -hmm. now you know in the next episode you don't already gave him a commercial about what's gonna be the next, right. in the next episode he's going after my ex wife. And not, not, not. It's and about like, money. Jamal Bryant has built his career on raising offerings. He first got noticed as a pastor because he was the man that could raise offerings. When my choir won a competition for Publix. Eddie Long invited him there to raise the offering at the dome. Mm. It's coming out. Well, you know, I, here, here's another thing. And you raise a, a really good point, uh, uh, Sophia, when you were talking about if you're going if you're going to go on the record mm -hmm. and I would have defended myself as a past. If I'm going to defend anything, I'm going to say, look, what happened on that show? I'm not a part of that. I don't. I don't aspire to that. I don't uh, condone that. But I will speak to my character, and this is who I am as a cat. This is this is my character, and this is my what my my values are. And and you know, I'm a man of integrity. So I don't want to be speak anybody else's name as they're be spurching my be be spurching me be smirching my name. But I'm going to speak to who I am. If he'd have done just that, I'd have been like, okay. I feel you, but you're going to, yeah, they said that girl, but I'm, well, he didn't say it like that. <clears throat> well, they, they said that, but they don't know But I know this. That's so petty. Yeah. And that's what I said. It's so gay. <laughs> because she came out with a book and she called, she said, I have a book of receipts. And then you, he came out, he was like, and you say that you have the receipts, but I'm wondering how can you have a receipt when I have the cash register? So he had his binder, and this is like this the cash register. So then it's like, well, come on, what? Come now on, he what? did. Now he did say in the video. He did say in the video that uh, he said, "You said X Y Z, but you, if you're going to read the, if you're going to read the text, read the entire text." Now he did say that. He did, he say, did that. say that. But 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 the problem that I had with that was you you were not talking about the text. That mm -hmm. she read. You say read the entire text. No, you were saying what you were saying was read all of the text, not mm -hmm. read the entire text, but read all of the text. So then it's just like you were talking about this woman and this woman. You know, she want she wanted to come to your installation, and you said no. I don't think that's a good idea. She wanted to come down for something else, and you said no. no. And then she wanted to be a part of your staff, and you said no. And then you put these women on your staff, and then she said, oh, that's why you didn't want me on here because you must be, you know, having this woman. And he said, no, 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 no. But it's just like if you know this woman is like that, why are you continuously texting her? If you know this woman has a two-year motives, then why are you continuously, you know, you know inviting who, her? You know who would tell it all? 
Somebody know Lisa Ray's number. <laughs> Cause they used to go together. They used to go together. Mm. You know she tell it. You know she will. Mm. No, she'll tell somebody else. She ain't gonna tell hers. No, she no, she gonna do like she did with Hallie. She, I heard. Yeah, but mm-hmm. but but what 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 she ain't gonna tell us about what happened with her marriage <laughs> with that with that prince? <laughs> what happened? Wow. You supposed to be the first lady of what? The uh, what was it? Uh, uh Turks, and, Tur- Turks and Cake Turks, Yeah, uh-huh. like, yeah like, but she ain't gonna tell everybody. She ain't gonna tell her story. No. She'll tell somebody, mm-mm, she ain't gonna tell it if she okay. was involved in okay. it. Okay, she might not. But, but the whole video, I just like, it's just like, you you came on there and you defeated your purpose to me. Mm. First of all, like I said, you should have never, you should have never given that lie. Because now, just look at us. That's what we're talking about. That's what all the bloggers are talking about. That's what every news you know outlet is talking about. They're talking about it because well, you know, what I think what really set it off because I never watched a single episode of Real Housewives of Potomac. Never watched it. Me either. But when I saw that clip, when that girl pulled out that binder, and she read Giselle for filth, and she read Jamal for filth. And she said, I have the bond. And she, when she called out the phone numbers, I was like, oh, she's not playing with y'all. She like, she's for real, for real. So I don't think that Jamal really had a, a, a choice whether or not to answer this because she had the goods. She had the goods, the phone number, the names, the hotels, the everything. But you, you, but you do. And it's just like I've been in a situation. I've been in a situation, too, where people have said what they wanted to say. Like, for example... When I when I left V103 the first time, when I left V103 the first time, there were all kinds of stories out there. Certainly, people were yeah. talking about Sophia got fired. Mm-hmm. Sophia got fired. I did not get fired. I know Ooh. I left V103 the first time. Mm-hmm. And when I got ready to leave V103 the first time, I called my mama and I called my best friend. Mm-hmm. My best friend here in Atlanta and I called my best friend in Dallas. And I told them the Trinity what was getting ready to happen. Come on now! I told them what was getting ready to happen, mm-hmm. and it happened. Right. So everybody else, when I when when the news hit, you know, when it went, you know, they was out talking about it on the news here in Atlanta. They was talking about it on the blogs and all of that. Everybody had their opinion. Miss Sophia got fired, and da 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 da. Some were positive, some were negative. Then some people that that are good for it. I ain't like on anyway. Da da da. da. And then a lot of people were positive. I responded to none of them because the bottom line is I had told my mama, I had told my best friend here in Dallas, and I had told my best friend here in Atlanta and my best friend in Dallas. So everybody else, they were entitled to their opinion. And even if I got a, say for instance, you said, you stated what you felt. I called, well, no, that is not true. I didn't get fired. I da da da. Then Mike, because he got his stuff. That is not true. I didn't get fired. It doesn't matter because just like he said, you said that you had to go and help, you know, get these senators in these seats. You have to go and feed the homeless. You have to go and try to put some money in some people's pocket who are not getting stimulus checks and not getting unemployment. That time that you wait, that 18th minutes that you wasted, you could have been doing something that was going to get you closer to feeding the homeless. You could you could have been doing something that was going to get right. you closer You're to right. put money in these people's pockets. You wasted 18 minutes on something that you had already established and you had already explained to the people that needed to know the truth. And the bottom line is when people do stuff like that to you, you do not have to explain it to every single body. Because my mama, my daddy, <laughs> my sisters, my friends, and everybody else that knows me and that considers themselves my friend and call themselves my friend I don't have to defend my character to them because they know when they hear come something now, that on. sounds outside of my character they're not going to believe it Joe, is your, so is your mama people, listening to this podcast? <clears throat> she probably is <clears throat> but I, I got goosebumps when you call her name because <laughs> it, when, when your mama loves you it don't matter what nobody else thinks. Right. As long right. as that, mama say it's and, all right. And so the thing about it, when he did that, when he did that, it's just like, regardless of what anybody say or what anybody feels they have on you, you know the truth. Right, right, and right. And you right, do not right. have to defend your truth to mm-hmm. nobody. That's true. And people know your character. If I hear something about you, I know you. So if it don't sound like it's true, they say, like the old saying, go, if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. Well, mm-hmm. it's clear why he didn't do say what he said now, because clearly Jamal Bryant does not know a mother's love. Hello? Mm. 
And not mm. only that, it's just like, it, it, and it's just like I said, when you when you have to answer to that, there's some truth in what yeah, she said. He's missing something. And when you have to say, you know, I have your address and I'm I live in Atlanta, yeah, but I'm from Baltimore. That was so gay. She, that, uh, but, but that was so gangster. Yeah. That was so gangster. And then you to be for you to be a pastor. For you to be a pastor, it's just like I guarantee you, you he doesn't have a good relationship with his mother. And I know that. Maybe not even have, his father. You have too much to lose. Yeah, she has does. this reality show. He don't show. think so. Well, he she does, has this reality show. He, he, but no, what he's alluding to is is very strong because that speaks to the character of what you think of women. Come, come on, because the you, mama's absent. Yeah, because if you think of come your on, mother, if you treat your it. mother a certain way, that's how you treat all women. When Joe women. said mom. So yeah, the fact that you would go it's at a woman like that. His inner childhood drama he has not dealt with. Yeah. He up there pastoring, molesting girls. Oop. Because his mama didn't love him. Oop. Mm. And I said, oop. And I said, oop. But yeah, but it's just like, oh my God. When we I need to take that, a break because Jamal's getting ready to call. <laughs> Jamal. <laughs> Baby, he's not going to call. He needs to get somebody to sit down. <laughs> sit down. He ain't going to sit. He's chasing attention. And you I'm don't need the attention, Joe, because your mom loves you. And I'm going to say this and then we're going to go to break. And it's just like when you get to a certain age and mm. when you get to a certain place in life, yes. it's just like, it's just like, he shouldn't have done that. Even if you wanted to do, Giselle, you said Giselle asked you not to do it. And Giselle you did it asked anyway. you not to do it. And you did it anyway. <clears throat> even if you wanted to do it, even if you wanted to do it, new birth had no say in what you decided to do. You did not put that in the equation at all, I don't think. Because had you said, you know, I really want to, Giselle asked me not to, but I really want to because I want to defend myself and blah, 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 blah. But because of my position here at this church, I'm not going to put my church through that because this church has been through enough already. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. And for me to sit up and make a selfish decision to try to clear my name and put this church that is already under a huge cloud of scandal and it's not going to die down. It's, no, it's not going to no, go away. No, no, And then for soon. you to bring some more scandalous, you know, information to this church, it's just like, that was selfish. Jamal's love life will improve when he forgives his mom for not being there. He's speaking. He's speaking truth. Mm -hmm. And I'm empathic. I don't even know his situation. But he will improve in his situation when he can forgive his parents until he can do that, he's cursed. Mm. That's you a good know, that's place for a break on that. That's a good. Yeah. That's, that's that's a good place. I'm your girl, Miss Sophia, holding it down right here on We Are You Radio. It's quiet now. We Are You Radio. We're the home of the urban sound of pride, <laughs> baby. Jamal. <laughs> you feel sorry for him now, don't you? I don't feel sorry for him. I just want to talk to him. And I'm going to tell y'all, when I first met him, when he came with it, when, he, when he came to V, and... Uh, I, I bet he was dressed to the nines, wasn't he? He's still dressed to the nines. Uh -huh. And then he's going to oh, oh, my God. But I'm just going to dedicate this song right here to him, honey. Yeah, give him something. Right now... He needs it. Right now, you're going to have to go on and he just... want some uh, attention. Tell him, Jasper Sullivan, you're going to have to pick up your feelings. Mm. <laughs> Don't pick up your chat with your DJ, Miss Sophia, right here. We are your radio. We are your radio. We are the home of the urban sound of pride. Pull that mic in front of you, Micah. Pull that mic in front of you. Yes, honey. Uh -huh. Yes, my nephew is in here, Micah. I'm and in also the, the CEO of We Are You Radio. We Are You Radio. I don't know for how much longer it sounds like Sophia want to fire me. <laughs> Wait. You ain't going well, nowhere. <laughs> that song y'all just listened to is titled Truth Be Told. <laughs> honey. And that's what we're doing we come today. to tell it. We come to tell the truth, baby. And uh, off the air, as usual, off the air, the conversations are more heated than on the air sometimes. That's not true. And then my nephew just opened his mouth and made a Don't you dare say it. <laughs> Don't you dare. No, no, you say that's your truth and you stand okay, by it. Okay, 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 okay. You say that's your truth Yeah, I'm going to stand by it. it. Yeah, I said it. Yeah, when he said it, now when he said this, now I'm going to let him say God, it. God damn time. it, I did. Well, go ahead and say it. Well, say what you I said. I voted for Trump. Get Get your ass out of here. <laughs> <laughs> you get your black ass out of here. <laughs> right. Can right. I please defend myself? Go ahead. No, I, you can't defend, can I, but can you go ahead and explain? I kind of allowed to. This is my defense. Okay. Ahead, and a lot ahead. of people my age did vote for Trump, too. Okay. okay. Yeah, we know. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm glad you know. So okay. But I, explain I did it because. Hold on. Hold on. What did you say? I want to say this. Okay. Like he just said, a lot of people his age did vote for Trump. 
and the uh, the uh, research work shows us that your generation, you all voted for Trump, and now I'm glad you're here. So I can you tell can you explain why. Explain to us why. Go ahead. Because we we knew that Trump was evil, and we knew that Trump wanted money, and that he was a businessman chasing money. If he wasn't a racist, he was a moneyist. That's all he cares about. So that made me trust his evil ass because he was about the dollar. And to be honest, this has been a very comfortable year for me. I have had a very relaxed year because of this virus. So I voted for him because okay. I know what that is. Now I didn't trust Biden because it was very clear that Biden got Harrison for the black vote. That made me think that he was doing it only to win. Uh, in a in a in a in a, a, a quicker way, get you a white vice president like you know you wanted to do, because v Harrison didn't even like you to be honest with you. Because in earlier debates she roasted him, so I know they don't like each other. Get you a white girl to be by your side. And I probably would have voted for him because that would have been a real move. I didn't trust that move. I don't. So, so you're saying that your generation, you all are one issue voters. We've been lied to for so long. So hold on. Uh, that ain't the question I What's asked you, Jamal. What's the question, Auntie? Jamal, Brian, I ask you. You okay. said that your generation are one-issue voters. So the reason you could vote for Joe Biden is Come, because he pulled Kamala Harris. Try not. Sticky. Try not. That is not, that's not it. Because your generation are one-issue voters, too. Because people voted for Trump for his issue over, over abortion. Because he was pro-life. He had all the Republicans stand for him on that one issue of abortion. So they are just don't single my generation out and say it's one thing. Hold on. But what, now, hold on, hold on, hold on. But I'm going to go back to my original question that you still haven't answered. Okay, well, you said that your generation, so you're saying that your generation are one issue voters. I think I'm saying I'm speaking for myself. I can't speak for the others. Oh, so so you, you are a one issue yeah. voter. Was it so? Would that, you, right, would my you one issue encompassed a lot because the economy is not one issue. The economy affects everybody. So I I voted for the issue. And okay, so hold uh, on. Yes, ma'am. You go ahead. I'm just go ahead. <laughs> okay. So you you voted for an issue that you stated affected everyone, which was the economy. economy. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But had you done your research as you had should have prior to the vote, no, no, no. Okay. Then you would have known that he had already had business practices that were frowned upon. He lost a lot of money. He was, um, he lied on his taxes. He also had a, a college that was found out not to be a college. So if you were voting on that platform alone, that man would not, should not have been qualified for the reasons that you just gave now, us. I never, I never said that he wasn't uh, evil and, and, and only sought his own um, his agenda. Okay. Um, I never said that. I voted for him because, number one, I'm empathic and I felt like uh, through the sentiments of America that he was going to do more for the economy's sake than Biden. And not to mention, I didn't have to do the research well, because my life spoke that I was comfortable. So my you voted, life you made voted, I was richer this year than I've ever been in any other year. And this was a year of virus. So my life spoke abundance so i didn't really worry about it so much research as what was on the table in front of me this has been a good year for me pure point blank so you voted you voted are you saying you voted for trump in the first election or this election no, I, voted, election. I went democrat first this okay election, so this I voted for so trump. you voted for you wait i voted for wait, hillary wait 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 so after you saw all of the vitriol and after all of the stuff came out about his taxes and after he lied to us about the virus and after he um, took us out of uh, NATO and after he did all of these things that were derisive. He also you got still a treaty signed and stopped the war in Jerusalem. I mean, he's done other things that are good, too. He was very good at um, foreign policy. So you voted on the one issue. Out of all the other things that you saw during his four years, you chose to vote for him. And this you, you know is, this, what it I'm is, not beating CEO, you up. You know what it is? I think because I was raised in a family where I had a, a, a strong male uh, a strong male leader and there are things that you see as a child that may seem as tyranty but it, they still affect you in a uh, in abundant way so when I looked at Trump I saw a lot of qualities in him that were in my father so your father used to call um uh, let's not get on him hold on no 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 I'm, I'm, I'm bringing the comparison because you said you saw a lot of qualities yes, without in saying it out loud well you saw a lot of qualities in Trump that, that were in, in my father so your father used to make fun of women 
and uh, grab him by the pussy, or he you just, stop he, it. Dude, I'm just stop. I'm just saying. I said I'm not gonna talk about that part. <laughs> So, oh my god and so you're saying I that saw he, similar qualities that he, is all that matters so your father made fun of uh, my father did things like that he grabbed women by the pussy I like your my, daddy hold on wait a minute he, he, <laughs> my dad was a rolling stone but oh, no okay. no in all in all seriousness but now that we are in in the place that we are now and, and you you said that you saw uh, Biden choosing Harris as a, a come on a, you a know play. why he did that this it, it may have been but he, let's it was but let's let's say this he could have chosen a white woman he should have but he knew that this was a, an america that was already divided yeah this was an america that was already that was already riddled with hatred from the four so years he was of a Trump. politician so he was a he was not a politician only, he wanted to show that he was going to be a president for the world and in doing so he had to make a a a a um a visible come on choice and that's so obvious but that is the right choice was it now if you look at Trump, was it his choice though well, obviously well, he it, that's, cho- i'm he voting for the man's wa- character he could have chosen his- warren he could have chosen well, any one of those other people hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on i have listened to this and i have just been trying to figure out how can i jump in here <laughs> you, mm. you say you you just say but then you said i voted for the man for his character right yeah. i but, said hold on, hold on hold what's on. wrong with evil hold we on, have this problem with evil no 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 hold before on, you listen on. no we I have this good 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 evil? good and evil 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 is bad but evil and good are both necessary for the balance positive and negative forces make electricity we can't be so angry when evil happens and so upset because it's needed for the cycle of this planet to work right but i knew he was evil that made me trust him but you don't need to give evil a platform evil why does, not evil does look at ha- the pastors of america well we're not talking about the pastors and if we're talking about the pastors then let's talk about the pastors but what we're talking about is the president of the united states but you act like evil can't lead and evil can evil has and, and evil we, and, and evil has left us down a path that we don't want to repeat let us go to hitler evil let us go to us mussolini let had us another go- democratic president none of this policy would have been in place to protect us because we would have kept turning our eyes it was because trump was an evil twit that we even looked at this police brutality to fix it hold on i want to say this everything that you said everything that you said the reason you voted for trump it is my belief that because of your belief and people who believe like you that thought that evil had a chance to lead and evil should lead you make it sound so bad but my belief it is my belief that because of you and people who think like you and you all gave trump the benefit of the doubt and all these republicans that are sitting up here scared to tell trump right now that he has lost this election (laughs) it is my belief that that is the reason God sent coronavirus to this earth. Mm, so Shonda. everybody could sit still, sit in their house, and see what it is that you all are saying that you're okay with. Mm. And just because we're okay with it, God said, I'm not okay with it. And for me not to be okay with it, I need for you all to speak for me at the polls. And the only reason I feel that Biden and Harris were able to win the way that they won was because people were supposed to be at home. They closed down the world. He closed down the world, yes. the entire world Made at the same down. time. Made so down. everybody, he closed down the entire world at the same yeah. time. So everybody could just focus on really what it is that we say we were okay with. And he's like, although you're okay with it, I'm not okay with it. So if the and whole world was like, shut down, why are we focusing on our president? Why is he the key to the, the stopping the evil when the entire globe suffered from this virus? Because just like you said in your family, you said in your family, your father was the leader of that household. He was. And in the United States, in the world, the United States was the head of the world. So everybody we think, looked at. So we think. Everybody looked at the United States. So we think say, we're so special. No, because just like right now, what, 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 when, when you go. Well, hold on, hold on. But when Biden, when Biden won the election. When it was official that Biden had won the election, yeah. world leaders, world leaders, they sent out messages, welcome back America. Okay. Mm-hmm. So it wasn't what we was thinking. So we think it's what the world was telling us, welcome back America. And will we have got welcome back America had we not had a Trump in office? Trump brought us back to who we were. He has to have credit for something. No, we needed Trump, the evil. What, come on. The, the, credit that, his, the credit that I give Trump. The credit that I give Trump is 
Trump put a face on the racism that exists in America, and everybody, everybody that was hiding and Thank pretending to be to the light. our friends and everything, they showed us their true colors because they felt like Trump gave right. them the right to show America right. who they really were. Had Hillary no been president, do you think pretend. this racism would have been highlighted? The racism had Hillary been the president, would this have been highlighted? Answer race, that question. The racism. Answer the question, my, Auntie. Yes, because the racism. Really? Has, uh, the ra the what, what? If Hillary had been president, the racism would have been highlighted like it Ferguson always. Ferguson happened with on, Obama. Hold on, hold on. What the racism would have been highlighted like it always have been. The womanizing and all of that would have been recognized like it always have been. The. Uh, the, all the stuff that we go through, the gay rights, the gay community, oh, the hate right. crime, and all that, it would have been high rights. I think we would have acted like it didn't that. exist, like we always do when a Democrat is president. Like, racism is not here because a Democrat is in office, and it still very much is here. Trump brought the, he blew the lid off of him. We saw all the, the racism people. So you think, okay, so, so you're you, so you saying, I, I, I get it, I do get it, and I'm going to give you that. I'm going to I'm going to agree Thank with you, you on, on that one point. I can have one I, thing. Uh, I do think that because of Trump, like we've we've all said, it gave people more courage mm -hmm. to Talking show about their, their yeah. So uh, that is the benefit. It did take the the masks off so of everyone's face. The necessary evil. Can you not see how? So I, I can, but, but, but the thing. About no, 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 no. I want I want to speak <laughs> to this ahead. point because it's, it's very valid. We needed to see the evil to see how bad things could, could be. actually be. So that the world could say, now we're on the same page. Now we're wait on the same a page. minute. That's why I did it. This ain't what we're going to need to have. Now, because I don't think we're there I, yet. I, I can agree with that. Sometimes you have to see how bad a situation can be. You have to, like, it's like the kid that runs away. It's I'm always away been this bad. Because my mother and Ferguson father happened did, under yeah. Obama. Are, it's always, are, you, seem say, you seem saying that, but the thing about it is, who did Rodney King happen up under? No, no. Who did who did John, who did Congressman John, is, who, who been did, here. Who did Congressman John Lewis happen up under? So it doesn't Ooh. matter who the president yeah, is. Yeah. It's just like racism has always it's been the here. It's the people. It's always been the people. But, but no, no. What he's saying is, and I, 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 I he's got it on that point. And I, I don't do this often. You see, Woo! I did not win an it, argument. That, that, that evil had to exist on the plane that it exists to the magnitude that it existed, so that we could say. Let's fix this. We cannot yeah. do it. <laughs> couldn't ignore it anymore. Even, but hold on. <laughs> even the people, even the people who thought, "Ooh, we need to get back, well, make America great right. again." Oh no, this ain't great. Even they turned on them. But right. this is this is the thing. This is the thing. This, like you say. So this here's the, the thing. thing. So here's, here's the, the thing. thing. <laughs> but this is the thing that I I want you to understand. Yes, ma'am. People voted for Trump the mm -hmm. first time because they say they didn't know what type of president he would be. Right. Yeah. He voted for Trump this time and Trump showed us what type of president he would be. Trump did not show us that he could be presidential at all. He had no qualities of being president. I knew what type of president he was. I but didn't vote said, for a Biden because I didn't know what he was. I knew what Trump was and that made me feel safe. But let's but, go to break because we gotta pay these bills. But hold on, you said that you have I didn't know who Biden was. And you live you have had a very comfortable year. Extremely Trump comfortable. Trump in office. Extremely. Trump in office. It, uh, up to his election year, this has let been a very get, nice vacation get, I've had this whole time. Let me get $500. 500 Yes. Don't have it. He said it was comfortable, just not relaxed. <laughs> 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 you, you can call Trump. I will, I will have your 500 in a, in a, in a probably a, uh, before the new year. And that's a promise. And I will give it to your uncle. Auntie. <laughs> Let's go to break. I'm not going to break. I'm going to kick his ass live on air. <laughs> I'm the nervous Sophia holding down right here. We are your radio. We are your radio. We are the home of the urban sound of pride. Maybe Ooh. I got to read some of these comments. Up to numerologist. So he was getting my information. And I he was. was getting ready to get my stuff together, honey. Oh, and God. But uh, I noticed that we were silent. <laughs> and I said, oh, I think we're on the air, you guys. <laughs> so, yes, honey. But we were talking about, we were talking about uh, Bishop 
Jamal Bryant. Jamal Bryant. Bryant. Yes. Hmm. Then we started talking, but we were coming back to talk about Bishop Jamal Bryant, but my nephew told us that he voted for Trump, so then we went to talk about Trump. So now mm. they were in here during this break doing this numerology stuff. Yes. So you got my information. So uh, come on, let's I am do it. missing the year. 1964. Put it in Ooh, there. Let's see. Ooh, let me Jesus, see the this. invention of the wheel. And all the want good stuff. <laughs> if it ain't no good stuff, I don't know. Say it on air. <laughs> He's a numerologist. So while you're looking that up, explain what the Scientology of numerology well, is. Well, no one knows exactly where it came from because uh, it's so old. Uh, no one can really chart the existence of it, but uh, it's, it's been here a very long time from when my studies have showed me. Um, uncle, auntie, your life path is five, just like me. So we're, you're moving very strongly into the year of 2021 because it has a vibration of five because 2001 reduces to five. So you're going to have a very successful creative year for the next three years. Oh, your life path is five. Oh, Jesus man. Christ is a five. That's why he was a rebel. That's why he walked against the grain. That's why no one, well, five's characteristics are what I'm saying. They tend to not settle down so quickly. Jesus was never married. No, I'm not saying that he had an issue with his, you know, lower areas, but no one was alive to prove me differently, but numerology was. So being a five, fives have certain characteristics as going against the grain. Jesus went against the grain. Uh, uh, so, I mean, I, I just believe that maybe we're a little too uptight about Jesus. Maybe he was a little bit more down to earth than we all like to think. I agree. And what else? That's all you got on me being a I five? Mean, you are a five. Uh, you are a five. I am a five. George is a nine. And you're a five Leo, which means you come to bring the strength and the change to get people comfortable being themselves. Mm. Come on, Holy Ghost. <laughs> he's re he's reading some more. He's reading some more. Uh, oh, it's reading some more. Let me see your ooh, and your life, uncle. You're in your life's lesson of five. You're f you're in the fifth life cycle. It ends 2022. So right now, you still have to do a little bit more leading and guiding of people who are in there to bring themselves out of who they are to mm. be themselves. You'll be out of it by 2021, and you can have your time. So but you have one more year to push forward for for others. So what is the ultimate that, ultimate goal? Because you said she's at a five, he's at a five. Yeah. So what is the ultimate goal? Is there an ultimate number that everybody should be achieving well, by? This is why parents should pay attention to their namesake because these challenges are based upon my uncle's name coding. The he they use a Hebrew numbering system to decide what numbers exist in your name, and the numbers that are missing from your name are the life lessons you will acquire. And so, uh, it looks like my uncle has three that he needs to. Um, and what and what are those he needs to acqu acquire? He he says his life le oh my uncle only has one it's, that's making money. His his life lesson <laughs> is money. Mm -hmm. Uh, what, what's my, the that's lesson, my life lesson? Yes, the lesson of eight is, is power and money. You must learn how to create wealth and manage your power without abusing it. That is your life lesson. Mm. And apparently in 2022, you would have learned it. Well, laughing hyenas, y'all heard that. Power and money. Send me my cash <laughs> out. Send me my cash <laughs> out. Yes, and stop abusing my auntie. Yes, Give him what he's worth. I'm helping you all become your authentic selves. That is my mission, And y'all can't lie because he has. Mm -hmm. yes. Now send me my cash out. <laughs> right. Baby, well, I'm I know just what he's you. done. I he's, just uh, helped a lot of people. I just uh, invited my nephew to hang out with me, honey. I had no idea. See the spirit. Well, you led by the spirit, Come honey. on. Because I just called him oh, out of the blue yesterday. They said, hey, what you doing? He said, <laughs> nothing. What's up? I said, oh, sound sounds like you were sleeping. He said, no. Nah. I said, you want to hang out at the studio with Auntie tomorrow? He's like, yeah, that sounds like it'll be fun. <laughs> then I called him this morning. I said, hey, you you ready? You coming today? He said, yeah. Can I bring my tarot cards? I said, yeah. Bring whatever you want to bring. That's none of our business. He oh, do you said, do tarot yeah. cards too? I do. Uh, oh, you know, wow. Like, I'm still studying it, but uh, I'm not ready enough to go into my flow with it, but I'm getting better. Okay. Now, tell us, because uh, I'm, I, I've am i heard of them, but I don't know exactly Terror what... Terror cards is 72 cards. It's, it's ancient Egyptian. People don't know that. The Egyptians used a lot of uh, drugs to make themselves drift off into these uh, these states, and they would use the cards. It's like a modern-day television. So uh, they would read the cards out, and it was like you were watching TV of your life. So we use them today still to kind of do the same thing, and you, the, the goal is to put your energy in the to the cards and read when you're calling out the energy of the collective and so now it's, it's interesting that you you have all of these different paths numerology and the tarot cards and so forth and so on and one would yeah. one would ask and as, as i will <laughs> how do all of those things relate to 
your 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 upbringing because your father's a pastor uh, uh, in religion which is where my mom named me micah and the meaning of micah is to be like yahweh rhetorical so unlike my brothers i had to study all different esocentric studies to kind of live up to my namesake so in doing that i found out that god exists in everything and so it changed my scope of what he is and so i've learned that the globe is one big ball of sound and mankind is a symphony we just have to learn how to play with each other again and i think that's where i come together in this piece in this new movement of thought moving into 2020 21. oh wow you Very interesting. Bell, you hear the bell go off? What's what, the bell what, mean? What's that sound? That's, that's, that's confirmation from heaven. <laughs> <laughs> I to, somebody said, you have to Zoom. They took my high and said, we're going to Zoom tonight. They said, I got to have. They said, we're going to Zoom tonight with him because I want my number and tarot cards reading. Oh, so I you got you. Zoom, I you got you. Do a party I, I would love to do your tarot reading. Zoom party on Zoom. I would love to do it. Okay. Well, Zoom, right, right, what, what if it tells you something bad? Then everyone on Zoom will know. Try you know what? Why don't Why don't we Why don't we do a, a numerology? Somebody type their name in in the uh, in the chat right now. Yeah, let's see how and it we works come back for to the you, next break. We'll, since you don't believe in it. Yeah, you have okay. to you have to put your full name and your birthday. We just need at least one or two. We can't you do all of them. Have to be Basically willing Taylor. to give your birthday. Basic Taylor is one that wanted. Basic Taylor do it. I'm sure, I doubt a female name. will sign up for it. And uh, female sign up too. They just scared to get very. But I, before I go to break, I just want to say I want to answer this question because somebody asked me, "Mother Hyena, will you see him?" No, but what about what's your view on Trump's cases? He got a case or not? Trump don't have no case. Trump to put these uh, they to file these lawsuits <sighs> in like sixty different states Come or on. sixty different he lawsuits that no they had. He didn't win not one of them. The only one he won was the judge told him, "Yeah, the people that are in there watching y'all count yeah, the ballots and everything, y'all need to let them move closer." But other than that. They either lost the case or yeah. they dropped the case, so he don't have no case, baby. At Trump all. is out of here. Trump He's out. Trump He's is out. out. Bye I, bye. Don't care, I don't care if my nephew did bro, bro, for him. Well, Kelly, 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 Kelly Loeffler said, "Um, he not out." Kelly Loeffler need to get her cross He's out of there somewhere and sit down. Did mm-hmm. you hear what I said? Kelly Loeffler need to get her cross out of there somewhere and sit down. Did I know Biden better give us this stimulus check. But no, you, Scott. you better go to Mar a Lago and get your stimulus check. <laughs> did you hear me, Sophia? Hold it down right here. Will you ready? Will you ready? I'm with the home of the Urban South. The price. <laughs> yes, yeah. and you better get my five thousand dollars because you already said it. My number, I said number five hundred. You uh, said five thousand when you was over there talking to them. Oh my God, it might. <laughs> Christmas to everybody. What's up, everybody? This is your girl, Miss Sophia, holding it down right here. We are you ready? We are you ready? With the home of the Urban Sound of Pride. My nephew is in here, the one and only Micah. Hey. And also, the CEO of We Are You Radio, George Dagle is in the building. Bonjour, comment ça va, mademoiselle, s'il vous plaît? Oui. Oh my God, you know French. Mmm. George is acting like he knows French. Oui, un petit français, un petit français. Oui. Yes, now he knows Spanish. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he knows Chinese now. <laughs> All right. Well, before we left off the last time, you were uh, you're a numerologist. And yes, so I am. You are into the numbers and stuff, and so you are giving people. What is this called? Numerology is the study of number and the symbolic meaning of them. Oh, okay. So now we put one of my laughing hyenas out of the chat room. He sent you his full name okay. and his birthday, and you're getting ready to... Uh, I chose Dwayne Eugene Cameron because you gave me his full name, and your human coding is based upon your full name, so that was the only one I could do. Okay, so what do we learn about Dwayne? From Dwayne, I discovered that he is a six, so he... My brother is a six, and sixes tend to be wealthy. Um, because they know the value of family and consistency. So he is probably a, a good family man. Um, he probably puts his family first. Now he's in a pinnacle lesson of nine, which is probably why I chose him because nines are drawn to me. And so let me give him his ninth lesson right now. He is in a very humanitarian stage of his life. Uh, he wants to give back because he is accumulating that wealth. Apparently he's he's almost there and he's walking into wealth very, very well, not very soon, maybe about 2037, he'll be at the peak of his wealth. But he is doing the right things to get himself there. And it's probably because he's accepting many different views and many different types of people, which is why he probably called in and gave his his name, his full name at that, the correct way. Um, his life lesson is two and eight. 
Uh, so he doesn't like details. He, he doesn't pay attention to the details. So he should get a secretary. And his life lesson is also eight. Did I say eight first? His life lesson is two and eight. Yeah, you said two and eight. Mm-hmm. Okay, so the eighth lesson is money and power. So he's 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 gonna learn how to get money without abusing it. So he he's he's learning this family and humanitarian stuff early. So when he becomes rich, he'll know what to do with his money the right way. And it's coming, but he has to learn these lessons that and learn to accept everybody in order for that to actualize. You say two thousand thirty seven. Two thousand thirty seven he'll be his richest. Thirty seven? Unfortunately, yes. Who much is given, much is required. He's going to be wealthy, so he has to learn these lessons. That's not that far away. We're in 20. That's not far away. 17 years? That's not far away. 17. He's already got, he's already doing okay. When is his birthday again? I don't, you want me to say that all down? Yeah. He he was born in 79. Oh, he's a baby. Yeah. 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 So, like, around, as he approaches his late 60s or 60s, around that time, he's going to, it's going to all make sense. (laughs) When I say wealthy, Mm-hmm. He's going to be wealthy. Okay, so you have to take some time to accumulate that. If type he of learns way. the lessons. If he learns the lessons of giving back and accepting everybody. But listen, he can learn. Let me see if he learned the lesson. Dwayne, cash at me right now. <laughs> cash at me right now. Let me see if you giving back. And you, what'd you say? He, he's right. He, he's very family oriented right now. Family oriented. He's very family oriented. And he's charitable. He gives the charities. Well, in, in, in what he can give. He, okay. In what he can. Well, send my cash out the way. Let me see. <laughs> I need he's to. He's a good back. guy. Look. He's a good guy. Everybody, not everybody wants you to do that, honey. He no thanks. That took a lot of virtue out of me. He's not, he's not doing everybody, honey. <laughs> but uh, we're going to do, we're going to have to set up when you come back and you just do that all day. I uh, just, I, I'll, I'll age. It takes too much. Yeah, it takes too much out of me to to, to that virtue. So you just do like two or three. Of yeah, I do all the landers. I'll look old as hell. No. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, mm-hmm. oh my god. Well, we're gonna take a break and we're gonna come back, honey. So, uh, uh, who was that? Dwayne. The way I got to drink. Look, everybody said they hold their full name. And they oh, they like me now. I thought I voted for Trump. Y'all don't like me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they say, oh, they say, let me say. Somebody's like, yeah. Dwayne say, wow, I agree. Dwayne, I need Dwayne to call in the studio. Dwayne, I'm going to call you. I'm going to call Dwayne. He agrees. That's something. Mm-hmm. Dwayne. Yeah. I need you to call us. Your in name, the pay attention to the names you give your children, okay? Because it affects their karmic lessons. Okay. Um,. Uh, what are you eating? La- um, non later that we're in your office. Yeah. We so, buy those. We get those for the guest. We have a nice basket. It's, it's, pl- it's plush. That's what he said. It's plush. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. All right, this is your Urban Sophia holding down right here on Will You Radio. Will You Radio with the home of the Urban Sound of Pride. And we'll be back with my nephew, the hey. only Micah Meredith, and my CEO, my supervisor, George Dago. And did you all enter to win the bag, to secure the bag? Ah. Welcome back to Club Chit Chat with your DJ, Miss Sophia, right here on We Are Your Radio. We Are Your Radio. We are the home of the urban sound of pride, baby. Welcome to Club Chit Chat's Happy Hour, everybody. That's right. This is Club Chit Chat Happy Hour. We talk about a little of this, talk about a little of this, but now we're going to drink a little of this and a whole lot of that, baby, because everything is legal right here at Club Chit Chat, especially during our happy hour. So I want you to get your drink on, get your freak on, get your pills on, get your smoke on, get everything on, honey, because it's getting ready to be on and popping to a whole nother level. You know what I'm saying? I'm here here with my nephew, the one and only Mike Meredith, and also George Daigle, the CEO of We Are You Radio. And we have just been all over the place today. We have been talking about <laughs> Jamal Bryant. We've been talking about uh, Donald Trump. We've been talking about this uh, number numerologist. Yeah. And, and my, my nephew's in here tearing up these now and later. <laughs> And then the CEO is in here drinking coffee. And then, you know, my nephew had him some spirits. Uh, <laughs> hallelujah. But, uh, what y'all want to talk about right here, child? Oh, this this y'all show. We y'all guests. Yes, right here we're supposed to be doing the birthdays, but I don't have the birthdays ready yet, so we're going to do the birthdays the next break. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, if you do not hear the birthdays, it is not my fault because yes, Miss Sophia always says every time I come, she forgets the birthdays. I'm I am forget- reminding her right now. No. So it is say, written. That is not what I say. I say every time you come, I don't do the birthdays. I always have the birthdays. I just don't do the birthdays because you always throw me off. Okay. Wow. Oh, Which is okay. C O M E or C U M. Come has two different meanings. Huh? Huh? Ah. Hmm. Quiet. Hmm. I'm mm. waiting on George to answer your question. <laughs> 
Yeah, that was a choice. It was it's CEO. Yes, is that the right answer? No, C O M E. C O M E or C U M. Oh, C O M E, C O M E, C O M E. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Slow today. Well, I am clearly. Somebody asked in the chat room: Are you single, Micah? Yes, I am. Okay. Are you looking? No. Are you single, George? No, I am not. Are you married? Yes, I am. Are you happily married? I am happily married. Why is your eye black? Oh, 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 I got a man. Why your eye black? And CEO has a very he loved nice girl. Ring. He very loved nice me. Ring. <laughs> <laughs> <That's the> love <laughs> so that ring, right girl, that you, you see them stab marks on my back? That means he loved me, girl. He didn't want me to leave. Oh, yes, yeah. that's exactly what that means. <laughs> so that means that wasn't a stab mark. That's a stay mark. That's a stay mark. <laughs> 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 My man ain't hit me, y'all. Don't believe that. Don't believe that. My, I got a good. I got a good man. Never mind me. This joke, Melanie Camacho said. She said, "Honey, I don't, my man don't hit me. You lying? You talking about my man don't hit me? Now he may have shook me real hard, <laughs> 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 but my man never hit me. He shake me real hard. Sometimes honey. you need a good shake. Sometimes you do. I know. I know many times he want to shake me. I know many days. I know many days. Yes, God, mm. shake it out of him. Shake that demon spirit. Um, Miss Sophia, are you married? Mm. Yes, Auntie. Can we see your ring? Uh huh. Where's, where's your ring at? I'm I'm in the. We don't wear rings. Oh, it's it's metaphorical. No, my marriage. I'm in the new kind of marriage. What kind of new marriage well, is that? Not, we don't have a we don't have a wedding. We don't have the oh. ring. All that ceremony. What what's is it? The, is it the same one from my childhood? Oh no. Oh. Oh, okay. I've been married thirty times. <laughs> No, I'm not just married. Just like a five. I'm not married. <laughs> just like a five. <laughs> no, I'm not married. I'm, I'm very single. I, you know what? And, and, Until and, and, 2022. And I'm not saying that because I know you, but I'm saying that because I know you. So- Sophia is a good good person. Yes, just that's what good I put out. heart. That's, that's what I put out. No, no I, you are. I, I, like, she is a sweet mm. person. Now, don't get it twisted. If you need to get told, you will get told, and you get told all of it. But at the end of it, she's a good person, and Holy I, Spirit. whoever is He's the man, be younger than her. Yeah, I, that's what I think. He's going to be a lot younger. Yeah, I think you need just, a young man, somebody, because you know the Bible says you re- re- train them in the way that they should go, and they will never depart. So that, you need somebody young. That is one truth, but I have to look at the scripture to see if it's absolute with number. <laughs> well, look at it and see if it's truth with number. Okay. Right, right. I, I I, I'm gonna tell you why he got to be young. Why he got to be young? <laughs> what push the hard ass, way. So I can push my ass around in the wheelchair. <laughs> oh, you're not gonna need pushing for a long time. He gonna do some pushing, all right? Oh, oh, oh. When, is, when is he coming? Get the car. Tell me when he coming. 2022, child. according to your number in numerology. I don't. Know, I can pull the cards and they can give me a, 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 a more accurate time. You know, I always say this, and I've said this before on the show. I think that a lot of times, uh, and and not to blow you up, but. Okay, you are a local celebrity. People know who you it's are. It's difficult. And yeah, people always assume that a celebrity, oh, she, oh, she got somebody. Oh, mm-hmm. oh, clearly. I mean, she just got it all together. She's smart. She's funny. She got all yeah. these jobs and these gigs. And, you know, she, oh, her man is off the chain. Yeah. You know, clearly, I, ain't, I can't step to her. But, you know. But this person coming is not going to know that. <laughs> oh, 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 baby. They're not going to know about my social media and all of that. He's not going to know that. Mm-mm. You gonna be in Publix getting that chicken girl, right. and y'all gonna reach for that same box of chicken, and you gonna know that's him. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, George loves. George loves to uh, talk about my love life when he in here, honey. He just want to set me up. He want me. To I, want, I, want, I, want, I want you to have some. I really do. Yeah. I, you really do deserve somebody. I really do. I yeah. want you to have somebody. And he's been through so much because when it's time, it's gonna be the last time. That's the last time. I'm mm-hmm. telling you, could. Does it does the, the number tell you whether or not he is a football player or a basketball player? The cards would. The cards would. Yeah, I could clarify well, that. Could you run to the house and get the cards? <laughs> 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 oh my God! So, Micah, uh, tell people how they can keep in contact with you. What's your social media handle? Oh well, my um, my IG is um, what is it, Micah? Oh uh, God, gee, it's just type in Micah Meredith. There's not many of me. It's only one. Oh no, it's a lot. Because when I was trying to put up the post about you being here today, there are a whole lot. A whole lot of Micahs. I even put. Well, I Micahs, even... I hope y'all live up to y'all's namesake. You are like Yahweh. Help the world. Mm. Mm-hmm. Micah Meredith. 
Y'all find him. Y'all look for the You'll picture. Find me. Is your picture in your bio? My picture is in my bio. Oh, okay, there you go. And you can go to my page. I posted uh, who's gonna be here today. Right. Don't expect no free readings though. Child, how much to charge? How much to charge? Well, for me to age, I think I should get compensated for taking on that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, how about just the charge? Depending on how much disaster I see in them. <laughs> <laughs> So, 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 doing numerology is 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 a, a, a spiritual on taking. So, the more it's very spiritual for me, I because I was drawn to the numbers after I was terminated from my position as minister of music over seventeen years. You were relieved. You never terminated. You were just relieved. I was relieved. Yes, and, yes. Oh, by Shia. Yes, yes, yes. I was relieved, and I started paying attention to repetitive numbers that I was seeing over and over again. And when I looked up these numbers, I discovered they had meanings. They were actually helping me kind of navigate. Being lost after losing my job, I didn't know what I was. Mm -hmm. But the numbers kind of helped me find myself because for a period I was atheist and only believed in the number. But when God found me in number, I knew he was in everything. Hey! Hey! The number, the number, the numbers. The, the numbers are in, in, in the scriptures over and over and over again. Yes, the Bible is numbered. Mm -hmm. Go figure. So t you take John 3, 16. Um, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Okay, that's the base. But if you look at John 3, 16 and add up the, the numbers, that equals 10. Zero is divine. One is the beginning. He is the beginning. So I look at the scripture a little bit more absolute than maybe a pastor would because I look at the number. Mm. 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 He is the new beginning. Mm. You on the uh you you online doing church on Sundays? I'm starting to kind of, but I'm I, but I'm my thoughts are very different than what you might learn in church. So a lot of people are scared to approach witchcraft because our, our, what they deem is magic. But Jesus did it and it was okay for him. So how is it so bad that we do it? Jesus can perform miracles but we can't? We're witchcraft but Jesus, what what was he? He did miracles. I say that all the time. That's stupid. I say it all the time. When Jesus turned water into wine it didn't he just... He can study magic but we can't. Right. Right. But now you're going to get a lot of pushback from Christians because I'm ready like, for it. <laughs> Gonna get a lot of pushback from Christians, and and you know I I I am of of the belief. I mean, first of all, Jesus was at the party. He was not just standing in the corner like la da da. -da. He put more wine. Right. Come on. He's he like, let's cr let's get let's get let's get this party started. Right. That's why I think when you go to church, people have this whole ideology that it should be. Oh, so yes. Jesus was crunk. He was. People are so worried about this OnlyFans phenomenon. It's helping America take the stick out of their. Oh, oh! Some of them stop, put stop, some. Get some over them. the OnlyFans phenomenon. Stop I'm hating out. because you didn't have enough courage to help us come to our sexual revolution in this country. Maybe we can get more like Europe now and stop being so uptight. Mm. Ooh. You said Jesus was crunk. Jesus. He was definitely crunk. was. Jesus he was, was five. I just saw Jesus at the store the other day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was in the freezer. <laughs> said crunk. <laughs> <laughs> I was there about the the sodas and Lord stuff. Lord have mercy. And I saw him say, come on, Jesus, Jesus, that's he the was. He was. Mm. He was the turn up. He's, Jesus was the turn up. He was the turn up. That's why they still remember him. Mm hmm Because they remember the party. You don't remember the sadness. Right. You remember the happy days. Yeah, you remember when he turned, flipped yeah, that table over. Yeah, his name lived on because he brought it. When he flipped that table over in the yeah. synagogue, he was crunk. Like, come on. Hell no. Stay right. Right. Y'all got it all wrong. Right. <laughs> we supposed to be rejoicing. Right. <laughs> right. Bible says rejoice with them that rejoice. I want to look up that number. Right. When yeah. Jesus when Jesus went off to pray and everybody came back, y'all better wake y'all ass. Right. Head. Right. Jesus was crunk right. all the time. The secret language of the Bible is hidden behind the number and it's been there this whole time and we're too stupid to look at it because we're afraid to approach esocentric study. Jesus was crunk. Jesus was crunk. And I saw Jesus at the store and didn't even... Didn't, didn't even know. Yeah. Didn't even He's been here this whole time. We just don't hang me looking in the wrong direction. Mm. Jesus is crunk. Let him lift you up. Jesus is crunk, oh, let him lift you up. Jesus is crunk, oh, let him lift you up. Jesus is crunk, oh, let him lift you up. Jesus is crunk, so let him lift you up. Hey! Oh. Hey, hey, go in, go in, go in. That'll, that'll wreck a house. Go ahead, um, Tom. Get a little something. You went to school. You graduated. What college you graduated from? I graduated from Georgia State, but prior to Georgia State, I had studied music for thirteen years. Yes, honey. You all you studied classical music. I studied right? classical music, unfortunately. Give me a little. You say unfortunately. That's good. Come here. Give me because a little classical. Because a lot of people who change singers to be sing classical, they always make other types of singing seem inferior to that, and mm. so it kind so of so you were inside of a, it kind of brainwashed. You were elitist time. a little bit, just a little. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> just a little <laughs> just a hair. But then again, yes. yeah, I, I don't want to say it was a waste of time because it, it was starting my career in ministry. Yes, but um, it did. I have nothing bad to say about it. Okay. You're sort, you're sort of a you're sort of a Renaissance man. If that you really was the name of my mother's school, Renaissance Learning Center. Everything's connected. Ain't that see, something? See how it goes? That's a synchronicity. Sounds synchronicity sounds means spirit. See, I was supposed to meet you today, CEO. Holla, holla, I knew it. Hey, hey. I told you, Uncle. The nine. What's the The synchronicity. We're in line alignment. That's why he keep giving me goosebumps. Look. Look at him. Well, He's doing it little, now. Well, give me a little Ave Maria. Interesting you chose that one. Don't make me do it. You should act like my mother now. Go do it, do it, do it, do it. I don't want just, to. Just, I'll join in. It's embarrassing. Oh. Why is it embarrassing? Because why, because black people make fun of black people that sing like that. Oh no, oh, come on. I yes, y'all do. Hold on. I'm you, not gonna set myself up. No, you and George. George is a singer too, so I, this is a history making moment, honey. You better come okay, on here. Okay, I'll do it next time I bring my tarot. No. I have not warmed my voice up. He's you don't have to warm it up. Just do it. Just only do it. black folk get up there unwarmed and sing. Classical <laughs> singing. I have not warmed my voice up either. Listen. Your voice has been warm. You've been speaking all day. You've been speaking all day too. I you word, yes, dear, you're right. I'm just trying to have an excuse not to say, do it. Yeah, my grandma said, lie, I don't care who tells you. You just want to be. <laughs> all right, excuses are just Come lies. I want to sing with you. Oh, no, no I don't. I, I, no, please, no, I, y'all, I, please. Uh, I changed my mind. Go ahead. Uh, pick I, pick I, any I, song, any song. It doesn't matter. Mary why? had a little lamb. See, I don't know why I'm so nervous to do it, being that I'm trained and I feel more comfortable. But you see, the sy- sy- synchronicity should make up. you comfortable. You see, being stand. in the space where I make you feel comfortable because we're on the same plane already. You've gotten the goosebumps because there's yeah. something spiritually connecting us. It is. And to hold back your gift right now at this time when you're it's being called not to my give gift. It, is it not? No, it's not my gift. I thought for years it was. It's one of your gifts. I had to leave the church to discover what that stand was. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up, not. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. It's a stand up, not. <laughs> mm. oh, give me a myself. I will sing Ave Maria when I just when I study the Latin. <laughs> Aunt, aunt, yeah, there's a little that, bit more to you're, it. You're singing in your false seto, that means false voice. You should take it to your real register. Your son of a brother. Well, show me how it is. Show the, me how to do How it. you're talking right now. That's your voice. If you sing in that pitch, it'll sound a lot better. No, that's still your false voice. You went even falser. Bring it, bring it down. Show me. Well, show me. You're talking in it. Show me. That's your. That's your voice right there. Oh. That's the meat of your voice. That not will be your false voice. I'm it would be your. But I'm performing. Yeah, you definitely are. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> are you gonna be so be a holy guy? Oh right my here? God. Oh, we are you ready? We are you ready? <laughs> with the home of the earth, the sound of pride. When I come back, I'm gonna do the birthdays. I don't ever do it when George is here. It's not I'll my sing fault. Happy birthday. birthday. You'll sing happy birthday? No, I take that back. No, no, uh, you haven't uh, said you it. Can't take it back. I can't take back anything I say. Trump does. Mm-hmm. <laughs> if he can do it, so can I. Oh, my God. Trump also got kicked out of the White House. He did, so I've been kicked out of here already once today. No. Mm-hmm. Yes. Baby, you get, get that baby another pack of knowledge. <laughs> baby, love of knowledge. I'm going to give me something holding down right here on Will Your Radio. Will Your Radio. We're the home of the Urban Sounds Friday, honey. We're also the home where they do not sing Ave Maria in their falsetto voice. And we are the home of the radio station where the guests mess up now <laughs> and later. Tearing them up. I <laughs> Right here on We Are You Radio. We Are You Radio with the home of the Urban Sound of Pride. Honey, I'm sitting here with my nephew, Micah, and also the CEO of We Are You Radio, Mr. George Dago. Hey, guys. Hi. What's going on? We have come. Yes, you all are in here jamming, baby. (laughs) Chris Brown and Young Thug. Go crazy. Yeah, baby. That, that Those videos kill me. I love them. You like that? Yes. Mm -hmm. You You know, Chris Brown and Adele um, were dating for like about... Two hours. Mm. Adele from London? Well, they found out it wasn't true. They lied. Oh, wow. Yeah, they There's lied. a lot of booty. Mm. Hello? Yeah, they said goodbye. Uh-huh. <clears throat> they like big booties, though, because Rihanna got a big butt. Mm. Mm. She got a black eye, too. Mm. Mm. He did not hit her in her eye. Her eye hit his fist. I know. Yeah. Over and over again. Mm-hmm. I thought his penis caused injury. Allegedly. Mm. He says he's packing. It's bur- huh? 
You haven't seen him? I've seen it on He's, he's on, packing on, all, all the time. He goes all over the world, so he's packing a lot. Yes. <laughs> 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 there's, some, there's some pictures in circulation. Long and stringy. Oh. oh. Why? Yeah, Why? That can, that can cause an injury. Uh-huh. That can cause an injury. Pick a punch or something. <laughs> oh my God. We're, we went from numerology, <laughs> from Jamal Bryant's. <laughs> To penile injuries. Where they do that at? Except I on Club Chit Chat. We went to Trump. We Trump. Trump. Yeah. No, I tried to. Are there pieces in circulation of him? And we were supposed pictures to. Pictures of Trump? Yeah. Are there any new pictures of Trump? Uh, uh, let's not. Hope Who not. See that? Who right. See that? I'm sure plenty of the white women that voted for him might. Some of the black guys that voted for him Try might not. See okay. It. Try not. Yeah. No, 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 no. In fact, let's go to a different topic. <laughs> No, 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 no. In fact, let's stay here. Right. No, I'm uncomfortable in that area. Okay, oh listen. We're doing the birthdays. You want to read the birthdays? Be careful. Well, what does that mean? Be careful. You say who birthday it is. Okay, I'll read the birthdays. You have to be able to translate, too. What do you mean? Because I should have let you read them while we were off the air. Yeah, you probably, you probably should do it then. Yeah, you should do it. It's that. so interesting. I have a same journal with the same gold trim, another synchronicity. And we're both fives. Come on, Uncle. I'm about to run. Don't run. We don't have that much room. Okay. <laughs> That's so strange. Mm. I have the same gold trim journal. Mm. Mm-hmm. You gonna read them birthdays? Cause don't 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 blame and say I forgot made you forget. Just yeah, read the birthday. When I read the birthdays, then y'all gonna have to sing Happy Birthday after I finish. <sighs> you and Micah. I don't know why y'all had these voices. Y'all don't want to use them. Pope Francis is celebrating his 84th birthday today. Y'all check on him. Check 84. on her. 84. 84. Pope Francis. Is he's a lady. He wears a dress. Come on. He's a drag queen. He's in a vibration of three. That's the same vibration of Earth. So maybe he will be more connected to the pulse of the planet in this season. Mm. In a dress. Hmm. Manny Pacquiao. This is the boxer. He's celebrating his 42nd birthday today. 42nd. Ernie Hudson, this is the actor. He is celebrating his 75th birthday. Really? 75th. He looks good. Sean Patrick Thomas, this is one of the actors from Save the Last Dance, and he is celebrating his 50th birthday today. Oh, Save mm. the Last Dance. That was the... Uh, I used to have a crush on him. Yeah. He was mm-hmm. real cute. He's, he's moving into five vibration. Mm-hmm. Eddie Kendricks. You know who that is? He, he's a friend of mine. No, he used to be with the Temptations. Th- that's his song. That uh-huh. He had a solo project as well. Mm-hmm. I bet you $1,000. Oh, okay. You don't oh. have me. That's, that's a lot of money. Mm-hmm. Eddie, can't, baby, you can't mess with me with my music. Yeah. I don't I'll, think, I'll, the I'll, way to do the things you do. do yeah, but he had a solo project, and that was his song. It's just your imagination. That, but that wasn't his do, solo. Do you know that from the movie? Because that was a good movie. Temptation. No, I knew it. I no, actually, my mom had a, a fantastic um, Motown collection when I was younger. So it goes deeper. It goes deeper. Sahara Davenport, she was born on this day. She was a contestant on RuPaul's Drag Race. We lost her. Oh, yeah. Also, Jaden Dior Fierce. She is celebrating her 32nd birthday today. She's on RuPaul's Drag 32nd. Race. 32nd. Five. Uh, That's Fatima. Two Fatima is American Next Top Model. She's celebrating her 34th birthday today. NBA players that are celebrating their birthday today. Jalen Hill, 21. Chris Johnson. Chris Joseph, 32. And Buddy Hyde. Also, Lil Rail, the comedian Lil Rail. A lot of people are saying <laughs> that mm. Lil Rail is the reason Bill Cosby is in prison. Because he was the one that went back and found that old footage and started talking about that. And they say that Lil Rail is the reason that Bill Cosby is in prison. But no, Lil Bill Rail, Cosby is the reason Bill Cosby is in jail. Lil Rail is celebrating his that 21st is true. birthday Unfortunately. today. Uh, He's in jail for real? Bill, Bill Cosby? Cosby? Yeah. He Honey, where have you been? I didn't. I didn't think he was gonna actually go to jail. He was in prison. He, nah, he in prison. He in prison for how long? For a long time. Oh my god. Uh, former NBC host, MSNBC host, Chris Matthews celebrating his seventy fifth birthday today. Chris, Check on what's him. up? What's Check up, Chris? Check what's up? Yeah, they took a job and everything. Mm-hmm. John Reed got his spot now. Mm-hmm. Come on, honey. Y'all sing Happy Birthday to the Birthday People. Happy birthday to you. Boo. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, all ye people. You better sing, CEO. Happy birthday to you. I could, I could work with you. What choir are you singing? 
<laughs> I can work with that gift. Well, let me hear you sing Happy Birthday. Worry and not. Your, and your natural worry, voice, you try not. to tell me. Try to worry, tell me to sing. Show not you here. said you was going to sing your Happy mm. Birthday. I, I, I took that back. He did. <laughs> mm. Yes, let's move forward. Mm. We are. Mm. Sing Happy Birthday. Oh, oh, I'll, oh, I'll sing it. <clears throat> sing Precious Lord. Precious Lord, not. <laughs> 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 oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I love I love hear people talk like me. Why you sound like uh, Ben Carson's talk. wife? He always go with the high note. Were you a soprano in another life? If you could choose which part you could sing, what would you choose? Soprano, alto, or tenor? If I could choose. If you, if you could choose, you could be the baddest of all three. Which one would you choose? First soprano. Woo! You'd be Leontine. You want right, to be Le- Le- Lucretia Campbell. Right. Yeah, that's what he's God going for. God rest her soul. God yes. Rest. That's a good one we lost. Yeah, sonny. Man, we just chilling. We are. This <laughs> is a good show. We're just having this. We just conversating. We're not trying to entertain. We're just <laughs> We're just walking. We're just walking. <laughs> conversing. I'm sorry. Somebody going to say convert. Y'all actually, conversing. actually, no. Beyonce put it in the, in the dictionary. Conversate is now in the dictionary. It is an actual word. It wow. did not. It used to be against the English norms, but conversate is conversate. a part of the English and language. And she does have that th- authority. Yes. What? She's what is she? Is she a five? What's her? What's her year? Where she born? Uh oh, we should know that. Uh, well, eight, eighty four. Is it eighty four? No, because she's thirty nine, I believe. She doesn't know eighty. No, she's born oh. in eighty one. I think eighty one. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm not a real beehive person. I would love I to love do Beyonce's her. reading. I would love to see her numbers. Wow. We should do her See numbers. what she's missing. When you come back, bring the tarot cards. Gotcha. Yeah. That'd be great. Let's get some tea out there. I'm Michelle Hollis. Love you. Yes. I'm your girl, Miss Sophia. Holding it down right here. We We're going? Here radio. We are here radio. We're going to a break. Y'all want to talk some more? What you only, got, you only have 15 minutes left in the show. I know. What do you want to talk about right here? You want to talk some more? What do yes. you want to talk about? Go ahead. I mean, talk. Well, I'm talking. But like some of that eating that candy. We're tearing it up. <laughs> Turtles. You know, I hate skinny people because they can do that. I they am can, not skinny. Whatever. He can eat whatever he wants. And then, like, tomorrow he'll be back. His, In the gym. Right. But see, we could do. We could look like him. Our bodies could look like that, too. But we eat and lay down. That, and just, you're, supposed to, you're supposed to rest after you eat. Contrary to proper belief, I don't do a lot of gym stuff. I do a lot of cardio stuff. Cardio? I walk a lot. I run a lot. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm allergic to that. Allergic not. <laughs> you know, I'm stealing that, right? <laughs> so stealing that. Allergic so what do you not. want to talk about as our guest before you leave, as Sophia's guest before you leave? Well, I don't, I don't think we tapped on... Um, I really am concerned about the Taurian Collective, uh, all Tauruses. I've noticed that the Taurus and Tarot represent the Emperor and the Empress. And the Taurus Collective has been beat up over the years because these kings and these queens have carried us to this point of change. And because they have fought for so long and no one has really stepped back to see what the Taurus has gone through because everyone knows the bull is so strong. No one thinks the bull has feelings, but the bull does cry. And they cry a silent cry. And we've reached this new, this peak going into a new age of thought. And we've forgotten about the Taurus to have, that have got us here being kings and queens. So is there, is they, are there Taurians in specifically that we should be looking at that you're using as this reference? I, I can't call it specifics because I channeled the collective. And what I'm feeling in a collective of Taurian is that they're dealing with self-love. They're having a hard time loving themselves because when love was time to give back to them for all whom they had loved, no one was there. So all the Taurians out there that are not feeling love, we, we understand you and we feel you. So how do they reach this this love that they are lacking? Because it's their time now. It's their time now. So they, this they've is the pushed to this they're... point and they've, they're tired. But this is a time where it's going to finally be for themselves. They don't have to fight for anybody else anymore. It's time to fight for themselves. And that's the message I want to get to them. You're done fighting for everybody else. It's time for you to live. Enjoy your kingdom. The Taurians, the Taurians, Taurians, and again because you're the numerologist, I'm just asking you these questions because this I is a, this is astrology. Astrology, mm-hmm. excuse, excuse me. <laughs> 
I don't know why it's been uh, here for the ages. Yeah, so, no, I, I you know what? I mm-hmm. believe in a little bit of everything. I believe all of this stuff is connected to spirituality, religion, numerology, astrology. All mm-hmm. of those things are delivered, you know, um, because, I mean, even the seven days and the way he created the heavens and the earth and mm-hmm. the order that he created it, all that His stuff. Each day is of the week represents a planet. Yeah, so. Sun, Sunday. So, when you say that Tarians are, have, have seen this lack of love and, and yes, representation. Because no one thinks they need it because the Taurus, they, they, they're the boss. They're go-getters. They're, they, they make it happen. And they've been doing it for such long. Remember I told you each zodiac is connected. If, if one zodiac is not living up to its potential characteristic, it affects the entire planet. We all have a charge to do a, a kind of when we're born under these different planets. And the Taurian is called to lead. And they have led us to this point. And they get to have a break for three years. Okay, Taurians, y'all sit down. Sit down somewhere. You say each day has a each, planet? Each horoscope, there's three horoscopes, there's 12 planets. Uh, each horoscope. And then there's 12 disciples. And then there's, there's there's 12 months of the year. So these all this, this 12 system reduces to three. Three is the vibration of Earth. So this is something that's come from spirit of Earth. And we don't like to pay attention to it, but it's here to stay because Earth is here to stay. So we should take a different glance at it. It's the, the reason Earth created these zodiacs is so that we can all work together. The planet is a ball of sound, a symphony, and we need to learn how to play together. Mm. That's that's good. Yeah. So twelve months, twelve zodiacs, twelve, 12 disciples, pla- twelve disciples, mm-hmm. twelve planets. Okay. And guess what else? What? Twelve minutes before we off the air. <laughs> <laughs> that's something. That's spirit. That's another synchronicity. Hallelujah. Sando. He's been in the building all day. Mm. He's you said Shondo Clock. Clock. <laughs> you so stupid. No, that's one of my hot laughing hyenas guys, Shondo Clock. Shondo, hey, Shondo Clock. And hey, had laughing hyenas. How are you all? Mm. All right, is there any question you want to leave with our guests or something you want to bring no, to we'll life? We're going to take a break and we're going to come back and say bye. I don't know if we're going to be. We're going to be here till after six. No, ma'am. Yeah, we're going to be here. No, after we don't six. do overtime at We Are You Radio. Uh, child, please, honey. <laughs> we're in here with Micah. Okay. You can call me Mikey. Micah. <sighs> Micah. Micah. Mikey. What does Micah mean? Mikey. Micah I told you earlier. Who I, was listening? Somebody just tuned in now. <laughs> well, you, you. Me. <laughs> Micah has five letters, and it means who is like Yahweh or God's gift in some sex. Hmm. What, what does Joe mean? I'll have to look that up. Okay. I can look it up during break. George means tiller of the land, farmer. Wow. Mm. Well, according to, let me put How it up you on know Webster. That? I looked it up. Gag. Yeah. You better form these lands. Well, mm-hmm. I'm in Webster. Make us grow. Webster State, George means get on my damn nerves. <laughs> 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 oh, you got me some beer holding down right here. Will you ready? Will you ready? We're the home of the Urban Sound of Pride, baby. Did you secure the bag? No, you did not. But here is somebody who did. What's up, everybody? This is your girl, Miss Sophia Holder. Yeah. Let's look her up. <laughs> <laughs> Baby, my nephew has been off the chain today, honey. Yes, he I'm has. telling y'all, I promise to God. I promise you guys. I only called Micah yesterday. You know, because I tell y'all all the time, when God puts somebody's name on my mind, I always reach mind. out to see. To, I always reach out to see. You know how they are doing. Even if this person and I are, I have, I'm not speaking to them and I'm not talking to them. I will still <laughs> reach out just so you know. You know, I don't even say what I call. I know we're not talking, but I just say, "Hey, how, how you, you doing? doing? You yeah. on my mind? You ran across my mind? I'm just calling to make sure everything was all mm-hmm. right." And then it's just mm-hmm. like you know, we have a little conversation. I go on, and it's just like I called mm-hmm. Michael yesterday when I was going through my phone. I was at the house and I was like, you know what? What's going on? I just so Sophia is a five. Sophia's Go a five figure. like Joe. Mm-hmm. No, Joe's a three. Joe's a three. Oh. Sophia is the reason why you're confident because Sophia attracted confidence, expressivity, and kindness. Mm. She made Joe into who he is. So she can never be underestimated. What? Come on. And Joe, Joe, uh, you talked about earlier that Joe is an entertainer. entertainer. Yes, Joe is an entertainer. His best career, and so is Sophia's. And so is Sophia's. So they're intertwined. Yes. yes. And your, your, your life challenge is underestimating your gift. Mmm. Lord Jesus. Oh, by shy. You, I was, uh, ladies and gentlemen, he'll be back tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Nephew, what you doing tomorrow? <laughs> oh, you want to see who Sophia's um, name? You have a high compatibility with ZP and R. So that's 
Peter, Robert, Paul, uh, Zebeline, Z- uh, Ezekiel, Zach, uh, Z- yeah, Z- Zach. Zachary, mm-hmm. uh, Ron, Ronnie, mm-hmm. Roger, Russell, Child, y'all. I'm Paul. So, so glad you're in here. You know sure. what? And it's my fault. Why? Why is it your fault? I've been looking at all these black men. I'm going to be looking for a white man. <laughs> <laughs> No black man named Paul. <laughs> I've been looking for a black man. I'm going to be with a white man. Oh, be white man. and pale. Oh, oh yes, he is. We going to treat you right. I'm going to get up out of here and go look for this pink nigga. <laughs> <laughs> you said pink. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, I've enjoyed you, Micah. Thank, Thank you. you I've enjoyed coming. myself. Anything you want to say before we get out of here, honey? I want to say to Taurus, it's your time. It's your, it's time, your season. Taurus. Take a rest. Okay. Mm-hmm. George? I want to say the Taurus is... My sister's a Taurus. Yeah. Take a rest, girl. <laughs> God, <laughs> Take a rest. You got to work for her, then. Yeah, that's my boo. That's that's my boo. That's my boo. She's been fighting for y'all. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. I know she ain't. It, we can't be silent. This is the radio. Talk, girl. Talk, Keith, say something. You're giving me no, goosebumps I'm again. On. Look at you. Stop it. See, what see. a goosebump! I don't see him. Yeah, he got him. They on there. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Oh, no. Let me see it again. They're going down now. That ain't no goosebumps. Yes, this, it is. Let me get out of here. I gotta let my nephew out of here so he can go bathe. <laughs> 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 oh, I love y'all. God bless y'all. Be blessed. Be a blessing. But more importantly, always be yourself because no one else can be you but you. They can only be a carbon copy of you. But a carbon copy is never better than the original. And you, my laughing hyenas, and my beehive, and my mad mom, and my divas, and my okurus, and my barbs. Mm. You all are originals. Now what have we discovered? It's time to go. Yeah, pretty no, much. What, no, that was what it was. <laughs> you showed me the time. No, he didn't. Yes, he did. I, I did. Let me see. It. Why Show me. It's probably changed now. It's changed. It was five. It was, it was five, 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 nine. You're five, the five. He's the nine. <gasps> mm-hmm. OMG. Yeah. So now we're going to have to wait till 669. <laughs> <laughs> Sixes are a good thing, contrary to popular belief. But that's another day, another topic. Another day, another topic. Baby, you have been off the chain today. They love you in this chat room, honey. He's going to come and do a Zoom party with us. I don't know if it's going to be... It's not going to be tonight, though. He's not going to do it tonight. He got to go work on his house. He's renovating gotta his house. Got to work on his house, play. girl. But yeah, I told you we was going to be here after six. All right. Mm-hmm. This was so interesting. We are you ready? Or we don't do overtime. We don't do that. Child, the morning crew. What y'all talking about in the morning? We'll be talk- oh, tomorrow is free advice Friday. We're going to get in people's business. People that have written us letters. We're going to give you advice. We definitely need to tear cards for that one. Yes. So, oh, so- Oh no, honey, we don't do tarot cards, but we do rip your booties. We yeah. How do you do it? You do prank calls? No, no. Uh, people write us letters, and we read those letters out loud, and we use our collective life experience to collective give them advice. Word of choice. Okay, thank you. Um, and we answer those questions. So last week we talked about um this woman who uh has a stepdaughter with the man, and she they she they have their own child together. So she's jealous of how the father treats the first child Mm. and was contemplating asking him to send her away Mm -hmm. because she wants her child to be the priority. That's T. So our advice was, um, please tell him what you're thinking Mm. so he could put your ass out because that's Mm. what's going to happen. Okay. He's not going to put his child last to yours. But but I don't know. Did you see all of that, Zach? I heard that inside your spirit, uh, auntie. Did you mm. see all of that, Zach? What about it? What about it? Child, it came between the mother and her new boyfriend and her child, and the mother told the child, baby, you got to go. Mm-hmm. I can see that. Wow. Mm-hmm. Family archetypes, toxic patterns being continued. People don't have, you have to go back and deal with your past before you can go forward. She going to regret that, though. She ain't going to live a good life. Yeah, I'm going to set them down, honey. You got to watch that episode. I haven't watched the young It depends while, while. what her archetype is because she will think her life is good, but it actually won't be, but she'll never know that. Mm. I wish I'd have thought about it. You should have brought that up earlier because we could have talked about that because I could, had a We'll whole be back. We've, we've, got, we've got great sh- more times oh and more shows God. to do. And- I want you to watch that show and then you going to talk. Oh, my God. Okay. Tomorrow's Friday. I'm going to take off tomorrow. I'm not coming to work tomorrow. No, that's your lucky day. I'll be here tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you don't meet your man on that day. <laughs> oh, well, now I'm gonna say you said that I'm gonna meet my man on that day. If I can't meet him, man, I he, guess you're right. He, he, might, be, he might be working in this hall. But, see, right, see. Not let him up but that's in 2022. 
Yes, this is your last push here. Oh, I'll be, I'm not coming to my house. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna be, I ain't gonna be the tip 22, honey. Don't give hey. up. This is a push. Matter of fact, I'm taking off tomorrow because I gotta go out to Alpharetta with all the pink men on. <laughs> the mild man. Stop is calling pink. them pink. What color is it? I'm Caucasian. <laughs> Find that one in the box. <laughs> 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 look, look, I see y'all. It's ready for me to push this button so we can get out of here. Uh-huh. But listen, this is the holidays. You got to stop acting like screws. We got to get the people an extra. It's oh, the holidays. By, by the way, we'll be on hiatus the 24th through the 4th. Hold on. Mm-hmm. Well, oh, my. Let me see. Pull up the calendar. Okay. Pull up the calendar. Pull up right the calendar. You got, the, calendar you got a right. calendar? Yes, try. Pull up the calendar, honey. He said on the 24th, the 25th. The 24th Christmas is Eve, the Christmas Thursday. Day. 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. Mikey, let me see this calendar. The 30th, 31st, the 1st, 2nd, and 3rd. 17th, tomorrow's the 18th. And the, oh, Christmas is next Thursday. Yeah. I'm trying to tell isn't, you. Isn't it interesting that um, Jesus was set to have been born on the 25th? And that's five energy, and he is five. Oh. No, George, you're going to be here on the 20. You're not going to be here on the 24th, 25th. I'm not going to be here on the 21st, 22nd, 23rd, 24th, 25th, 26th, 27th, 28th, 29th, 30th, 31st, and the 1st. I may come back on the 2nd. No, I'm going to come back on the 5th because that's my that's Come on, my, that's your day of strength. That's my day of strength. I'm mm-hmm. coming back on January 5th. <laughs> so when y'all see me tomorrow, <laughs> that's going to be my last day back until January the 5th. <laughs> Thank you, Mike. You're welcome. My nephew that came here gave me some extra off day. <laughs> <laughs> Child, child, child. I can't. You ready? We ready. What's what we doing? If my father was here, he would sing chestnuts roasting on open fire. But why don't you just go and sing Do it and tell an offspring he, of he your would father? Probably, he would be, he would over exaggerate it and he would he well, would act like he was like he was Yeah, you good at impersonations. Yeah, do it. Go ahead. He'll, he'll probably sound like this. No thanks. Oh my god. <laughs> chestnuts not. Chestnuts not. <laughs> chestnut. I also live on Chestnut Street. Ain't that something? Maybe I should have sung. Well, now everybody's going to be looking for you. Hello. They don't know what the numerical address is. That's all right. But, but honey, the girls will find you. They will always find. Mm-hmm. They will find. Mm-hmm. Let's go. <laughs> Where are we going? Out to the house. Child, we here with nephew. Auntie don't want to leave yet. Right. Because she's not coming tomorrow. Right. <laughs> I am truly off tomorrow. I'm off tomorrow. Sing your off your off song. I already sung it. No, you did. Oh, I just said bye. Okay. Mm-hmm. I'm so glad we had this time together just to sing a song or share a life or two. And before you ever know it, comes yes. the time for us to show I feel it. that. And we have to say to each other, so long. Goodbye. My nephew want me to sing in my regular voice. This is my. I'm so glad we had this time. No, don't do that because you didn't give that no energy like you gave that high note. Oh, really? Yes, I hate when people don't give low notes what they deserve. <laughs> I.e. bottoms. Oh. We don't give bottoms Ooh. what they deserve. Oh, C.E.O. Oh. I'm just saying, those are C- bottom notes. All right, God. <laughs> CEO. Saying. That was a good one. That man. was a good one. <laughs> Give bottoms what they deserve. <laughs> I'm so glad we had this time together. Come on, yeah, they deserve that. Just sing for the bottoms. A song, a share, a laugh or two. He meant that And thing. before you ever know, all the way to the bottom. Comes the time for us to show. Oh, I feel this a lot more. Mm. And we had to say to each other. I felt that so long. Yeah, you, you tore it up. She sang. You the finally tore yes. it up. Yes. He sang. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. You, you have a connection the to that. Felt that. The bottom yes. felt that. The t- collective was touched. Yes, it was touched. The water is clear. Yes. <laughs> <laughs>